on IWTV News. Winter weather routine. It snows, clear the snow, snow, sleet, melt the ice, and more. Fun lunch Friday. What's on the menu this week? Another heart stopper. The Iowa Western men's basketball team does it again, this time in the last second. Another mismatch as well. The women continue to rock and roll in Reaver Arena. From the campus of Iowa Western, you're watching IWTV News. Hello and welcome to our latest edition of IWTV News. I'm JJ Davis. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of this snow on, snow off, ice on, ice off. Now, you think I'm getting tired of it. How about the guys that got to rock the salt each and every day, keeping this campus safe each and every day? Gentlemen, start your engine. Only this race is pretty much every day. We've got around 300 acres here. Um, we're cutting grass in the summer. We're plowing snow in the winter. Um, we, we do it all. From cutting grass, dumping snow, spreading salt and more. Now the maintenance crew reports for duty in the new grounds building located below the art center. Normally we start at seven o'clock. Um, when it snows, we're here 4 a.m., sometimes earlier. So um, we leave usually around 3.30, even later. Does the job demand as many hours as it takes for get the clock? Yes. Everybody has their own spots and areas they do. I ice mountain, shovel out doorways, or unless Taylor tells us different. Feel like Johnny Appleseed spreading the salt? <laughs> yeah, all day, every day. Generally, we have, uh, we'll have some people out on the tractors and the vehicles taking care of some, uh, some of the bigger stuff. And then uh, Frank and I will uh, do doorways and sidewalks and just make sure that any place that somebody could slip and fall on campus is, is taken care of. There's a guy that likes, I think he like, like death metal or something, and he walks up the street going like this. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen him around, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably the funniest one. We utilize, uh, in the summer, we got our mowers, uh, tractors, weed eaters, a little bit of everything. Um, it's nice, so our mowers also transition over into our snow removal equipment. All I can say is we've been pretty lucky this year. It hasn't been terrible. It's nice. Yes, you know, thank yous. I had people today, about five or six administration people, I was doing the doors over there saying, oh, thank you so much, and I just kept going. I said, oh, you're welcome. You know, that's what we're here for. That surprises me because we're kind of early in the, according to the winter we've had, it's been pretty mellow, like the boss said. Uh, so we've had a lot of people coming by this morning, especially saying, oh, thank you. And these were a lot of them were more kids, not just teachers. What can you say about your crew? They're great. Um, count on them every day. They're here on time and they leave, you know, after everything's done. So they do their work and they get it done. And they get it done every day. Gentlemen, start your engines. Go time for the Iowa Western Maintenance Department. It's a daily race against the clock, and this crew never loses. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> How about some helpful hints in dealing with wintry Mother Nature? I spoke with the Iowa Western Head of Security, Danielle Flores, and he ripped off four quick safety tips. One, wear proper footwear. How many times have I worn the wrong shoes? My feet get soaked and I'm uncomfortable the rest of the day. Been there? It's just common sense. Two, do not be in a hurry. Now, I know sometimes you gotta book it, but give yourself some time so you don't have to take chances, risks, just to be on time. Three, be aware of your surroundings. Look around, look down, 
See where you're walking, where you're going, and take it easy. Four, take the safest route. Amen. You got to know alternate ways to get here, to get to class. If the weather is bad, know which one to take. Get up early. Give yourself time. Again, all this is common sense. Things to know, to think about when navigating winter weather on campus. Again, it's just good old common sense. Here we go again. The men's basketball team battles some Blackhawks into overtime. So what else is new? Food, glorious food. Hungry? Something different? When we come back. From the campus of Iowa Western, this is IWTV News. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs? Just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. of you, I felt hopeless. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. Because of you, I felt wanted and not alone in this world. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was going to be okay. They do it every year, and again it starts this week. A taste of something different every couple of weeks. As the food service department serves up another lesson. First-hand experience for culinary students. Good service, good food, and for us, good eats. <laughs> Here's IWTV student Josh Beloratsky. A day to remember, Iowa Western serves up its first feast of spring semester. So this purpose of the events so that the students are in front of the house service, how to properly take care of the guests, serve them, and the proceeds go to scholarships and to help raise funds for our program. My experience so far has been very good. I mean, I've always wanted to do uh, something along the lines of culinary with um, baking, so I can open up my own, my own bakery. From the main course to dessert, 
all for a tasty cause. It is a fundraiser for the culinary arts and the food tech club so we can go to different competitions and a whole different events and also for scholarships. Mainly for the info program, uh, any money that we make goes straight back into it. The Culinary Arts Department has been serving up delights in the revert room for 10 years. It's an idea that was cooked up over two decades ago. So we came to this building in 2010. And we've been doing it over here since 2010. We did it previously before that for about 15 years. So we've probably been doing this about 25 years. I would say what I've seen at Iowa Western is if you show up, go to the classes, do the work, and show the effort, people, the instructors will do what they can to help you. So if you're looking for a good meal at a reasonable price, come visit us on Fridays from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock p.m. kitchen is open. The culinary department features food from around the country. Check the menu. It's on Iowa Western's homepage under Culinary Arts. For IWTV News, I'm Joshua Veloratsky. Thanks, Josh. Now, interested in some Reaver Room grub? I mean, there's plenty to go around. Why, what's your taste? Check out this culinary lineup. Like German food? Then mark it down. Friday, January 31st, Reaver Room. Or how about some Valentine's Day surprises? You got it, Friday, February 14th. Say you are Italian, huh? Mamma mia! February 28th is the day for you. How about some good old Southern food? I can taste that fried chicken right now. March 13th, Cajun Baby, March 20th, and so on. In all, the Culinary Arts Department has scheduled 10 Friday luncheons for the spring semester. The last food feast? You got it. Just before spring graduation, May 1st. Home sweet home. The women's basketball team rolling through the opposition on their home court. But next up, the comeback kids do it again. And does it take Reavers an extra five minutes again? After the break. I chose to come to Iowa Western because it was close to home and rather affordable. Um, I just wasn't really ready to leave to leave home yet, so it was a good option for me. When I think about Iowa Western, I think about just growth in general, um, always expanding programs, um, you know, even their sports teams, um, just innovation and continuously growing. The best part about being in the dental assisting program was probably the close-knit group of um, classmates that we had um, and how accessible and how close we were with our instructors. The reason I chose this field was because I've always had a passion for healthcare and thinking long-term it was best for me thinking about being able to balance a family and a career at the same time. I've always wanted to be in the medical field um, and then once I had orthodontics or braces I was just very aware of my smile and everyone else's smile and so I thought this would be a good fit for me. Being um, in the lab, um, the dental lab here at Iowa Western you know, you, they're not always real people that you're working on, um, but a lot of the equipment is very similar. Um, it gets you kind of familiar with the equipment and the arrangement of an operatory so that when you go out to those offices, you're, you're pretty much ready to go. The most satisfying part about my job is being able to care for patients. Um, I love helping educate patients on their oral health because ultimately it affects your overall health. The dental assisting program, I feel, set me up for success. Um, just like I said, being hands-on, um, the learning experiences in the classroom and outside with our externships, um, it just really brought it full circle from textbook to being chair side. 
I had a great experience at Iowa Western. I felt like I had a, a lot of support from my teachers, from um, advisors. I can't really say enough good things about it. I would definitely recommend this program to others. Um, I do actually. Um, it's just a great learning experience here. Um, people that are interested in, in the medical field that maybe aren't, they don't want to nurse, they don't want to do that type of thing. Um, you're still helping patients and it's fun, it's something new every day. gotten to be a habit with these guys and I guess that's a good thing because they win and the latest heart stopper how about against a top 20 team and a team no less that knocked off top 10 Indian Hills here's IWTV student Adam Ireland a six three guy for and Mark is going to number two Joe Fyatt Reavers are home battling the Blackhawks early minutes Kale Puffin from deep I dub up 5 2. But Southeastern with the putback. The visitors grab the lead. Four minutes left in the half. Huffman again knocks down the three. Iowa Western back up 23 22. Then Josiah Strong with his only three of the half. Southeastern on top 36 30 at the break. Band making its presence felt. And so is Maul Pine. Second half, the sophomore with the fadeaway. Cutting the Hawks lead to three. Josiah Strong with another strong game. The sophomore with one of his three steals. Strong with 20 points. Big Blue back up 50-48 with just over 10 minutes left. Minnesota native feeling it. Strong sinks one of his three trays. Back and forth they go. Blackhawks with the steal. Easy layup. The home team right back. Caleb Thornton charges and scores. Iowa Western 64-63 with under two minutes left to go in the game. Southeastern ties it at the foul line. Coach Johnette and the Reavers head into overtime. Caleb Huffman with the opening statement. Two of his 20 points. 66-64 home team. The visitors right back. And one. Hawks a four point run to go back up 68-66. Big Blue answers. Jalen Dalcourt for three. Nothing but net. Iowa Western by one, 69-68. Maul Pine under and up, 71-70 Reavers. 51 seconds in OT, the Hawks hit two free throws to go up by one. Thorne bustles his way through traffic. <laughs> Southeastern leans in and regains the lead, 74-73. The lead changes hands seven times, six seconds left, Big Blue 94 feet away. <laughs> Huffman at the buzzer. Iowa Western stuns 16th ranked Blackhawks 75 74. We know every time we get into overtime with teams, it gets ugly for them because we're real good at overtime. And we just play together and everybody ate. I was real mad to play before because my man had scored on me and got the lead on us. So I was like, I got to get this dude back. So I caught the ball and I just had so much rage in me. So I just said, forget it. And just drove in and dunked it. Caleb Huffman is just becoming a really solid basketball player, you know, and he's always had those flashes. You know, he hits the game winner tonight being physical and being mentally tough to get to the rim. You know, he didn't settle for anything late. Coach talked about a lot. Uh, we got to break the game down into five minutes and try to win each five minute like session. Once you got it over time, like we got talented guys that aren't afraid of the moment. So kind of just came out and played our game and took home the W. We were never uh, out of arm's range from them, and, and, and this basketball team feels comfortable when we're, we're within arm's distance, and, and tonight that result showed. Everyone in our conference now has one conference loss, and so that was something that we really keyed on. Iowa Western evens its conference record at 2-2. Two and two. Reavers are unbeaten in league play in Reaver Arena. For IWTV Sports, I'm Adam Ireland. And then there's the women. And again, a little bit of a different story. I mean, Iowa Western has yet to lose in Reaver Arena in 2020. Here's IWTV student Riley Teton. Ship 
sails, Iowa Western clashes with the Vikings. First quarter, Haley Burfield dances her way through the defense. The freshman dishes it to sophomore Jaden Morris for the open bank shot. Randview catches fire early. McKenna Monahan with one of her four threes of the first quarter. 17-15 visitors. The Reavers close the quarter with an 11-2 run. Summer Blakemore with the Euro step. Item axing the Vikes 26-17 after one. Second quarter, the Sean Sweet kicks it to an open Burfield. The Northridge, California native with their second three of the night. Later on, Sweet finds Solo Amuson. The freshman takes it to the rack. Iowa Western outscores Grandview 25-10 in the quarter. Morris lays in two of her game-high 22 points. The Reavers cruising past the Vikings 51-27 at the break. Second half, the home defense suffocating. Solo Amuson with one of four blocks. Jaden Morris rifles a pass to Amuson. The Illinois commit with two of her 15 points. Solo Amuson! Plays later, Morris with the dazzling drive. Ida manages only 12 points in the quarter, still lead it by 20. 63-43, good guys. Fourth quarter, Grandview coughs up one of its 16 turnovers. Brianna Baker-Bruce to LaShawn Sweet for the easy bucket. Iowa Western running and gunning. Morris to Ariel McElroy. The Reavers sail past the Vikings, 79-64. next Wednesday night. Is our defense. You know, I think when all of our offense, we talk about it all the time that it starts from the defensive end. So when we, we were able to give that max effort and be able to do it without fouling and we, we were able to take away some of their easy looks that they were getting early in the game and then we can convert on some of that stuff. Yeah, she emphasizes in practice that we have to be like a really fast-paced team, especially in playoffs. So she's emphasized that we have to run the court, especially when we have mismatches and we're faster, stronger. We just got to run on their post and the guards did a good job of finding us. Honestly, I just try and just execute the game plan of what coach wants us to do, and that usually works for us. We'll bounce back. I mean, we go now, we've got um, Northeast, because this weekend we're off. So we'll go Northeast on Wednesday at our place, and I think our girls will be ready to go. For that. Ida returns on Wednesday the 29th for a date with district opponent Northeast. For IWTV Sports, I'm Riley Teton. Thanks, Riley. Now, meanwhile, the fourth rank wrestling team jumps in a lake. Well, not really. Fourth rank Iowa Western outscores Iowa Lakes at their place 34-20. Now the Reavers win six of 10 matches. Three guys, May, McFarland, and Braun stick their guys. So Big Blue sweeps the home and away series. Now you might remember Iowa Western pinned the Lakers in Council Bluffs back in 2019, 36 to three. Next up, into the lion's den at Perennial Power and Nemesis, Iowa Central. And finally, the indoor season continues. The Iowa Western track and field team running down old man winter on the other side. a little horse. <laughs> Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> Why couldn't the pelican? wait. Why was the basketball court all wet? Why? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. Where did cats go on vacation? New York. <laughs> She doesn't I'm really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? <gasps> wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? 
Yeah, I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know, Becky. You're texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, has she texted me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. Okay. It's decision time. I want to experience a four-year college in two years. I want to live on campus, but get to my career faster. I want to get started now. Find your path at iwcc.edu and get hands-on real-world experience. Start now at Iowa Western. The Reavers impressed at that indoor meet at Nebraska. Remember, the 4x4 team won their event. So what's it going to be this week? Old Mo building towards the outdoor season? The Reavers run in the Northwest Open on the campus of Northwest Missouri State University. First out of the blocks, Faith does it again, breaks the meet and school record in winning the women's 5,000 meter run. Time? 1657, so way to go Faith. Now this young woman from Kenya is really making a name for herself and Iowa Western on the national stage. The women's 4x400 meter relay team comes up big. Big Blue wins it, qualifying time 357 and change. Ditto for the men. Iowa Western crosses the tape first, and again a national qualifying time 317 plus, so congrats to both. Kiana Estima places second in the women's long jump. Aaron Westmoreland, third in the men's 200. Shania Parkinson, fifth in the women's shot put. Now the men place, what, fifth, sixth, seventh in the 60 meter dash? Third, fourth, and sixth in the long jump. All qualify for the natty. Reaver, indoor track and field, continuing to make its mark during the winter months. And so snowy and cold on the outside, the Reavers running wild on the inside. I say, bring on the outdoor season. So make that now three shows in 2020. Why, that's almost a relay team. <laughs> and so for this latest edition of IWTV News, I'm JJ Davis, and as always, I'll see you around campus. IWTV is online. Like us, follow us, watch us.